Hello. Now today we're going to talk about cerebrospinal fluid and its flow through the ventricles and the subarachnoid spaces uh, in the brain and the spinal cord. Now CSF is the fluid which supplies nutrients to the cortex and to the deeper structures within the brain uh, rather than the blood flow which supplies nutrients to the very surface regions. It is produced in the choroid plexus, which is shown here in red, which covers the floor of the lateral ventricle and the roof of the third ventricle. The CSF flows from the choroid plexus through the body and tail of the lateral ventricle and into the third ventricle via the intraventricular foramen. CSF then flows to the fourth ventricle uh, via the cerebral aqueduct, exiting via the medial and lateral apertures. CSF exiting the lateral apertures flows to the pontine system on the ventral surface of the brainstem, while flow from the medial aperture enters the cerebellomedullary system. It then follows one of two paths. The first follows flows around the cerebellum, draining into the superior system from where it flows to the interpeduncular system. The second path flows down the subdural space surrounding the spinal cord to the lumbar system. This is where fluid is taken from in a lumbar puncture. CSF then flows back up the spinal cord and it joins the flows from the fourth ventricle and the superior system. From the ventral systems, CSF flows across the cortical surfaces in the subarachnoid space, draining into the superior sagittal sinus via the arachnoid granulations. It then flows down the posterior surface towards what is called the confluence of the sinuses, where it joins the venous blood flowing from subcortical regions via the straight sinus. Mm -hmm.